Hi, this is Ed Neumeister, and I would like to spend a little time discussing slide technique and what I think is the most efficient slide technique. We only have one moving part, and we need to be as efficient as possible with that one moving part. Actually, it's more than one moving part. The actual instrument only has one moving part, and that's the slide. Now, I'm not talking about the water key or the tuning slide, which for a lot of people, <laughs> the tuning slide can't move anyway. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, uh, I discussed in another video about cleaning the horn and getting lubrication and keeping the horn as in good shape as possible, which includes the tuning slide, of course. But I'm talking about the slide now. For me, the most efficient way to hold the slide is with two fingers on the bottom and the thumb on the top. Not the tip of the thumb, but right here, the meat of the thumb. So it's like this. These two fingers are tucked away, out of the way. A good way to train these fingers out of the way is to wrap a rubber band around your wrist. Rubber band here, and then so. It's not tight, but it's just holding these two fingers from coming out. We don't need to, once we're beyond the basics of trombone, the elementary aspect, we don't need to use the finger to find third position and touch the bell. These two fingers are out of the way, and we're dealing with just these two fingers and the thumb to hold the slide. If you are not tall enough to reach seventh position with this, then just use it when you have something to play that doesn't involve seventh position or if you have a trigger. So you don't need to bring the fingers out to hold it out here in seventh position. Most people's arms are long enough, they don't need, need it, especially if you bring the shoulder out like this. What I'm looking for is this kind of movement. You see? Rather than this stiff kind of movement, this is what I'm looking for as the goal, as the most effective and efficient way to move the slide. The thumb, I call the captain, the thumb always stays on the slide. It doesn't leave. I see a lot of players go to fourth position this way with the thumb out here. Now I'm not in control. Now, of course, if my other fingers were underneath, but see, I put those fingers away. So now I need to keep control of the slide by always having a hold of it with these three fingers. And it's not the tips of the fingers, it's a little further down in the meat. So if you can see this, like that, yeah? And so when we're moving from one position to the next, that the thumb and fingers are moving first, followed by the wrist, which is followed by the arm. Efficiency in movement. We have this possibility here. First we have the thumb. The thumb is for the fine tuning. When we're adjusting from fourth position G to fourth position B, it's a very, very slight movement to keep the notes in tune. First is the thumb. You see, just by moving the thumb, we have a lot of control. And this is the fine tuning. We have the fine tuning. We go from G to B. G in flat fourth position to B, which is a little bit sharp fourth. A lot of players have trouble with this. But if you can master this, your intonation can be much more secure and much more delicate. And then we have the wrist. That's the next. From the fingers, the thumb, to the wrist. So that when we're moving one position, third to fourth, for example, we're moving primarily with the wrist. And the arm is following the wrist, as opposed to the arm moving the wrist this way. You see the difference? Here's the arm. It's sort of stiff. 
And here we're using the thumb and the wrist and then the arm is following. With good slide technique, what's important is to be able to play in the correct positions or the best positions or the most efficient positions for the moment. It's not necessarily the first position we learned. For example, F in the staff. In first position is often played or should more often be played in sixth position. In the key of D flat major, that F is more often in sixth position. In the key of E flat major, the D is more often in fourth position. And as we go up to the second octave in the key of E flat, F and the G are in fourth position, A flat in third, B flat in third, C in third, then D can be in sharp third, and high E flat in third in this case. In each of the keys, we have more efficient positions, and we have to start to get used to being able to play each of the notes in all the various positions that are available. B flat, the main note of the trombone, in first position, but sometimes we need to play it in fifth position. For example, in the key of G flat major, You see the difference between and see the difference between that and we need to go through each of the major scales playing up and down and looking for the most efficient positions. I have in my trombone class, my school's kind of a rule, and that's, I call it the half-step rule. And for 99% of the time, it seems to work. And that rule simply stated is this. If the note is moving up or down a half-step or minor second, then the slide is moving one position. Okay, half-step, minor second, one position. The chromatic scale in the trombone is just one position to the next note. Now, of course, B flat to B natural without a trigger is impossible. One position. But for the most part, many of the other notes are. So when we're moving a half step, we look for just the next position, the adjacent position. There's times where we'll want to break this rule, but then we should have a reason to break it. And this is a good working rule. Just double check to see that we're playing in the most efficient slide positions. Perhaps I'll make a video demonstrating each of the tonalities and what I think are the most efficient positions, but for now I'll skip that and I'll let you do the research and see if you can figure out the most efficient positions. I mean, it's not a big mystery. It's the position that's closest. Mm -hmm. The direction has a lot to do with the position as well. As another rule, direction takes precedent over distance. So if the slide is already moving one direction, sometimes it's better to move a little further in that same direction rather than moving back and forth all the time. These are some of the simple rules that we can use in order to develop efficient slide technique. I've developed a couple etudes that helps to work on slide techniques and keeps the focus on slide technique, even though, again, it's an etude, and what's the definition of etude? Etude is a piece of music designed to enhance one or more techniques. I've developed a couple etudes, or improvisatory etudes, that are restricting the performer in overtone series or partials. So what I call the minor second etude means I can play in the two overtone series or two positions, fundamental positions, 
that are only a minor second or a half step apart. In other words, one position away. And a good place to start is in third position and fourth position. And using only the notes in third and fourth position as the source material for this etude. Third and fourth positions, I believe, are the most important positions on the trombone. This is where our center of gravity should be, between third and fourth position. I call this the ubic position, right here, in between third and fourth, basically. The arm is in between third and fourth, and so the wrist and the fingers can manipulate back and forth between these two positions. The minor second etude is using only the overtone series of A-flat and overtone series of G. There's a lot of different possibilities for tonality in there, but we're not thinking tonally necessarily. We're just using those two, those two partials, those two overtone series as our source material. This is also making us more familiar with the notes in third and fourth position. Like I mentioned earlier, the key of E-flat, playing a G in fourth position, playing B-flat in third position, C in third position, it gives us a lot of possibilities. A in fourth position. And by being here as, as our center, our ubic position, our ubiquitous, ubic is short for ubiquitous, but which means ready to be anywhere at any time, ready to go anywhere at any time. That's here. When we're in first position, which many people think of as our home position, we're stuck. We can only go out. The only position worse than first position is seventh. Now we're really stuck. And that's way out there, hard to control. Third and fourth position is a great area to spend most of our time. Now here I will demonstrate a minor second etude using the overtone series of A flat and the overtone series of G. Focusing, of course, posture, breath first, and then focusing with the slide technique, but it's a slide technique etude, it's making music.
minor second etude, third and fourth. We can also do the minor second etude, second position, and third, first, and second. Later, I'll demonstrate the major second etude. See if you can guess what that might be. All right, that's enough for now. I'll see you later. <laughs>